everyone welcome to yet another video of advanced mathematics of class 10 and today we are doing the last part of exercise 4.3 of quadratic equations so without wasting any more time let's dive in directly to today's topic we'll start off with question number 16 we had completed up to 14 or 15 last time so today we are on to question number 16 and it's a different type so we have some exponents right here so let's see how to solve this going to start off with the left part what we have here is we can write 8 as 2 cube and we have 2 to the power xy equal to 4 we can write as 2 squared and the whole power is going to be fair enough so now we will move ahead and what we get is 2 cube plus xy because if the bases are same and we have multiplication then we have the power as the sum of the powers here we will have 2 into y that is 2 to the power 2 y so now on both sides we have the same base and hence the exponents will be equal so we will have 3 plus x y is equal to y so okay. let's move ahead and from here let us find out x so x y will be equal to 2 y so y minus 3 and hence x will be equal to 2 y so y minus 3 by y so this will be taken as equation number 1 let's put this value in this equation and let's find out the value of y what we have here is 27 can be written as 3 to the power 3, 9 can be written as 3 square to the power x and 3 to the power xy equal to 1. All the bases are same so it will be 3, we have multiplication the power will be added. This will be 3 plus this will be 2ice x, this will be plus xy equal to 1 and 1 rather than writing 1 we can write it is 3 to the power 0. So again bases are same so exponents will be equal so it will be 3 plus 2ice x plus xy equal to 0. What values do we have? We can put the value of x so it is 3 plus 2 into 2ice y minus 3 by y so it is 2ice y minus 3 by y plus again we have x so again we have 2ice y minus 3 by y to y equal to 0. I hope it is very simple till now nothing extra extraordinary so y y will be cancelled from here we get 3 plus plus of 4 y minus 6 by y plus twice y minus 3 equal to 0 so from here 3 and minus 3 will cancel out we can take the lcm as y and we will get 4 y minus 6 plus twice y squared equal to 0 this twice y squared plus 4 y minus 6 equal to 0 from here if we take 2 as common we can get y square plus 2xy minus 3 equal to 0 that means y square plus 2xy minus 3 equal to 0 2 side change will give us 0 so let us try and find out this one let me continue from here and if I continue this from here I can do a middle term factorization of 2 so I can write 2 as plus 3 minus 1y minus 3 equal to 0. I hope you are all familiar with a middle term factorization. Since this one is negative, so we need to get a negative sign here. And 3 minus 1 will give us 2 and 3 ones are 3. So that's how we do middle term factorization. So y square plus 3y minus y minus 3 equal to 0. From here you can take from these two terms, we take y common, it will be y plus 3. These two terms we have minus 1 common. So again we have y plus equal to 0 we have y plus 3 into y minus 1 equal to 0 so either we have y plus 3 equal to 0 that is y equal to minus 3 or we have y minus 1 equal to 0 that is y equal to 1 so when we have y equal to minus 3 let us find the value of x this was our value of x so for y equal to minus 3 this will be equal to 2 into y minus 3 so 2 into minus 3 minus 3 by minus 3 so it will be minus 6 minus 3 by minus 3 that is minus 9 by minus 3 which is 3 so when y is equal to minus 3 x is equal to 3 if I erase this part and continue the sum here what I can get is I have got one value and now we have another part that is for y equal to 1 y equal to 1 we have x equal to again twice minus 3 by not y 
2 into 1 minus 3 by 1. So it will be 2 minus 3 by 1 that is minus 1. Therefore, the values are x equal to 3, y equal to minus 3. But we have x equal to minus 1, y equal to these are the two values. Either it will be 3 y minus 3 and or x minus 1 and 1. So very simple sum. Just make sure that uh, the whatever question you will be getting, it will be always in terms of the same. Like we had uh, 8 at one side and on the other side we have we had 27, 9 and 3. 8 can be expressed in the form of power of 2. 27 can be expressed in the power of 3. 9 also can be expressed in the power of 3. So, you will always have these sort of arrangements where you can express other numbers as the power of any one of the numbers, any one common number and hence you can get these sort of equations and you can solve a normal quantity equation just like you have solved all the equations of the previous sums. So, just make sure that the solution part will be same as that of up to question number 15. Just the first thing that you have to do is to understand how to move forward at the first part of the question. Now let us move on to question number 19 because question number 17 and 18 are just like this one. 19 is a little bit different again at the start of the question. Let's move on to 19 and see how to proceed with question number 19. So we are on to question number 19 and let's see how to proceed. So here we have a power of 1 by 3 and y also has a power of 1 by 3. And 1 is a very simple linear equation x plus y equal to 9. So let's keep it as it is and let's move forward with this. What we do here? The first step, so our aim should be to remove this 1 by 3. So in order to remove an 1 by 3, we must have a cube. Because if x to the power 1 by 3 is cube, then 3 into 1 by 3, 3 will cancel, it will become x. So in order to remove a power of 1 by 3, we must have a cube. And that's exactly what we are going to do here. We are going to take cubing of both sides. So let's do a cubing of both sides. It will be 1 by 3 plus y to the power 1 by 3 whole cube equal to c cube. Okay, so we have done cubing on both sides. Let's put the formula. A plus B whole cube is A cube plus B cube plus thrice AB into A plus B. So we will use that formula. And here we can have A cube plus B cube plus thrice AB into A plus B. So here we have equal to 20 we have here it will be x power will be 1 by 3 into 3 so 3 and 3 will cancel so it will be x similarly here also 3 and 3 will cancel so it will be y plus 3 into x to the power 1 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3 into x to the power 1 by 3 plus y to the power 1 by 3 and this value is given here so we can write this as 3 equal to 27 here x plus y is 9 so let's take this as equation number 1 and let's put the value of x plus y as 9 here we can get 3, 3 is a 9 and we have x to the power 1 by 3 to y to the power 1 by 3 equal to 20. Let's take this as a side change. So it will be x to the power 1 by 3, 9 into x to the power 1 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 27 minus 9. This 9 will be side changed. The result we will have on the right hand side, 27 minus 9 will be 18. And from here if we take the side change of 9, here we will have 18. And here, let's write x to the power 1 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3. And this 9, if side change, goes around here and we have 2. Ultimately, what we get from this part is x to the power 1 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3 equal to 2. Again, we will do a cubing on both sides. If we do another cubing on both sides, we have x to the power 1 by 3 into y to the power 1 by 3 whole cube equal to 2 cube. This time what happens, we remove the powers because x to the power 1 by 3 to the power 3 into y to the power 1 by 3 to the power 3 equal to 8. Since there is multiplication, we don't have to put this formula again, so it becomes very simple. This time again 3, 3 will cancel, 3, 3 will cancel, we have x, y equal to 8. Let's find out x, x will be equal to 8 by y. Let's write it number 2. Now we put this value in equation number 1. So again from 1 this will be just like the previous sum. The main difference was doing this part and then moving on to do this part. So up to here the difference is there. From the next part or it is just as the previous types of sums. So let's move ahead without wasting any more time. x plus y equal to 9. x I can write as 
by y plus y equal to 9. I can take an LCM of y, so it will be 8 plus y squared equal to 9. Let's move to the left side. Let's rub this part. Try and solve this. Let's place this one as whole. Let's move ahead. And if we take a side change again of this y, it will be 9y. It will be y square plus 8 equal to 9y. Again a side change, so we'll have y square minus 9y plus 8 equal to 0. And we can write minus 9 as 8 plus 1, y plus 8 equal to 0. 8 plus 1 is 9 and 18 to 1 is 8. So what we can do ahead, go ahead and write this. Now from the first two terms, we can take y as common, so it will be y minus 8. From these two terms, we will take minus 1 as common, it will be y minus 8 equal to 0. We can have y minus 8 into y minus 1 equal to 0. So either we will have y equal to 8 or we will have y equal to 1. I have written y equal to 8 because y minus 8 equal to 0 which means y equal to 8. y minus 1 equal to 0 which means y equal to 1. So now that we have these two values, now we can find the value of x as well. For x, if y equal to 8, we can find the value of x y equal to 1, we can find the value of x. Let's try and find that out. Let's do it here. It will be So, for y equal to 8, this value, x will be equal to 8 by 8. That is, for y equal to 1, what we have, x is equal to, it is 8 by 1. So, it will be 8 by 1, that is 8. Therefore, the values are x equal to 1, y equal to 8 or x equal to 8, y equal to 8. These are the two values. As I said, the beginning of these sums are really important. If you can get the beginning right, the whole sum will be correct. I hope you understood these two sums. And now we are moving on to the last type of sum. It is question number 20 and we have four sums there. All the four sums are exactly the same. The same method has to be followed. So let's go ahead and see how to solve question number 20. Now we have moved on to question number 20 and what question number 20 asks us to do is that we have to find the coordinates of the points at which the x-axis and the y-axis will cut this curve. There will be some points on the x-axis on which this curve will cut and there will be some points on the y-axis at which the curve will cut those axes. Now the thing is how to understand what will be the coordinates. Now if you look carefully into any graph is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. If we take any point on the x-axis, suppose suppose we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we have the negative ones. So if we look carefully, what we see, suppose I want to take this point, point number 4. What will be the coordinate of this point? This will be 4, 0. Suppose I want to take this point, this will be minus 3, 0. I want to take this point, this will be 1, 0. So what common we see is that the y axis value of the y coordinate is always 0 for any point on the x axis. And similarly, on the y axis, what we will get is that the value of the x coordinate is always 0. For example, I take 1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. This point will be 0, 3. Suppose on the negative side also, I want to take any point. Suppose minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. I want to take this point and this is 0, minus 5. So here the x coordinate is always 0. That means the point at which this curve will cut the x axis will have the y coordinate as 0. And the point at which this curve will cut the y axis will have x coordinate as 0. So now let's move ahead. If you have understood this one, we can move ahead easily with the sum. Let's erase this one and see how to begin the sum. So let us assume any point on the x-axis and on the y-axis. So let given curve intersect the x-axis at a comma zero because the y coordinate is always zero and x coordinate can be anything. And the y-axis at zero comma b. Because the x coordinate will be 0 and y coordinate can be anything. So now let's first start with the x axis. For the x axis, we 
we have the value of y coordinate is 0 and x coordinate is a that means in this whole equation all the values of y's will be replaced by 0 and all the values of x will be replaced by a just like we have done coordinate geometry since this one this line or this curve will pass through this point it means this is a root for this equation so all the values of x will be a and all the values of y will be 0 so this is for x axis so for the x axis what we have and x will be a so it is 2 a square minus 3 into a into y is 0 plus y square means 0 square plus again x means a minus 2 into 0 minus 3 equal to 0 and that is the equation we have now let's go for simplification we will have 2 a square 3 into 0 0 plus 0 0 plus a. minus 2 into 0 is 0 and at last we have minus 3 equal to so this is the equation we get and this is a simple quadratic equation and we can solve it. We know how to solve it. So let's go ahead. This will be again middle term factorization. So we can write here 3 minus 2 into a minus 3 equal to 0. It is twice a squared plus 3a minus 2a minus 3 equal to 0. And we have a common. So twice a plus 3. Here we have minus 1 common. So again twice a plus 3 equal to 0. Let's move ahead on the right side. And what we get is twice a plus 3 to a minus 1 equal to 0 so either twice a plus 3 is 0 that means a equal to minus 3 by 2 or we have a minus 1 equal to 0 that is a equal to 1 that means the x at the x axis point of intersection will be either minus 3 comma minus 3 by 2 comma 0 or it will be 1 comma 0 therefore curve intersects uh, x axis at either minus 3 by 2 comma 0 or 1 comma 0. So we have done the first part minus 3 by 2 comma 0 and 1 comma 0 we found the value of a and we plotted it. Now we will move on to the next part that is for the y axis. So let us erase the whole thing and here we will have for y axis and let us erase this one so that we can go ahead with the Sum. So here what we have for x axis what we have 0 and b that means all the x coordinates will be removed by or exchanged with 0 and all the y coordinates will be exchanged with b. So let us move ahead and see it will be 2 into uh, x is 0 so it will be 0 squared minus 3 into 0 into b plus b squared plus 0 minus 2 into b minus 3 equal to 0. Let us simplify this one. This is going to be 0. This is 0. We have b squared in 0 and we have minus 2b. We have minus 3 equal to 0. Another simple quadratic equation. Let us go ahead and solve it. So it will be my b squared minus 3 minus 1 into b minus 3 equal to 0. So it is b squared minus 3b plus b minus 3 equal to 0. From here we can take b common. So it will be b minus 3. From here nothing common. So 1 it will be b minus 3 equal to 0. Let's move ahead and continue from here. So what we have here is b minus 3 is common. So we can take b minus 3 into b plus 1 equal to 0. So either b minus 3 is 0 which means b equal to 3 or we have b plus 1 equal to 0 which has b equal to minus 1. So therefore the y axis will be cut at either 0 comma 3 or 0 comma minus 1. So those are the coordinates. Therefore, the uh, curve will intersect the y axis at 0, 3, this 3 or we have 0, minus 1. That is how we solve these type of sums. Just take two points for the x axis we have one coordinate and for the y axis we have another coordinate. Remember that for any point on the x axis the y coordinate is always 0 and for any point in the x axis the sorry I mean for any point in the y axis the x coordinate is always 0. That is the reverse means if you take x axis it will be y, if you take y axis it will be so that is how you solve these type of sums and question number 2, 3 and 4 are exactly of the same type. So you will be given an equation, you have to take two points and solve them. So I hope you can complete those sums. So go ahead and try it for yourself. If you find any problems then ask me in the comment section and as usual as I always promise you, 
And if you have any problem, I will try and solve that for you. I will try to tell you how to do it or I will make a video on it. Thank you everyone for watching and until next time.